What's up everyone? This is Mike Gross at youtube.com slash mg free guitar lessons and today I would like to show you guys Tears in Heaven from Eric Clapton and it's going to be the version that I'm going to show you guys if you have heard the unplugged version there's lots of guitars going on so I kind of compiled what I thought was the best parts from these different guitar players and stuck them into a solo guitar piece so you got the little fill-ins, you know, the... Um, I connected those in, makes it a little more interesting. So it's going to be the rhythm parts of it. Um, let's jump right in. Let's get started. This is standard tuning. I'll play you the... kind of the, the first section of this, how it goes. Break that down. I think there was three little fill-in riffs I did. We're starting with open E. No pick involved here. Just use your fingers. These things here. And open E. Hit it with your thumb and hammer on to fret two. If you're not sure what a hammer on is, it's when you pick a note, a lower note, and you can't get any lower than this, and slam it down on a higher fret. In this case, in this case, we're going a whole step sharp. So from E to F sharp with the hammer on. You got to do it hard, like get that note clear. Acoustic, it's a little harder than electric too. Then you hit the open A, lift that ring. I'm doing that with my thumb, of my pick hand. So right now it's thumb for both things. Take your index finger, I'm barring it. I'm going fret two on the G and the B. My index finger of my picking hand, I'm plucking the G, middle finger, I'm plucking the B, and that's, you know, fret in on fret two, and I'm picking that, and hammer on and pull off to fret three is the hammer on the B string, and then I'm pulling it back off. These are tricky if you haven't done them. It sounds like this. You want to make sure your pull offs, boom, just as solid as that hammer on, okay? So we have and then I'm barring, so I'm going to pick the G string there that's pushed down with the, on the second fret. All the while that A string is ringing over it, don't let that mute out. Then we go up to 5B, third finger, 4G, middle finger, first finger, fret 4 on the low E. Okay, so E slash G sharp is the name of that. Stick these two fingers together. Okay, we're going to pluck the G and the B string with that, and the thumb's going to hit the low E, and then we're going to pluck the G and the B again. So it's subgroup right there, okay? And then move this over a whole step flat, that's two frets, and scoot that third finger into the second fret as well. So it's two E, two G, two B. Don't bar it though, use three fingers. Still got these together, right? G and B. Thumb on the E, and do that again. So it's... Lift your index finger, watch. Subgroup that. Take your third finger that's on the second fret B and move it to the third fret B. Leave your middle finger where it's at. Put your first finger, second fret, low E. So D slash F sharp is the name of this chord. Do the same concept, man. The G and B, and then the thumb is going to cover the E. So right now we're having some patterns repeat, which is cool. Then, low E with the thumb, open. 2G, two 2B, two whatever fingers you want. Hit them all together. Pinch in those strings. Third finger, third fret B. High E open. 
So, index finger, fret one on the G. I'm plucking that with my index. And then middle finger is going to pluck the open B. So, thumb on the low E. These are stuck together. Hit G and B together. Thumb back on the low E. So, and then no low E at the end here. Instead, go third finger, 2A. Whole step slide sharp to fret four. Make sure you hear that when you get there. Take your index, bar it on the second fret, G and B. Make an accord. I'm gonna pluck the G and B. So then third finger moves up to 5A. First finger 3B. Middle finger, gotta see that. 4G. And do the same thing. A with the thumb, and then pluck the G and B. So it's Okay, we're going to repeat all that, but now we're going to throw a little fill-in riff from one of the other guitar players. That may be Eric Clapton that does it, or one of the other guys. Probably Clapton, but I'm not sure, because he's got to sing this too. So, um, this would be the next one. So, take it up, repeat everything you did, but when you do everything on the second fret there, then we're going to jump up here, bar the fifth fret, high E and B. Pluck them and slide a whole step to seven. And then go back to where you started, fret five, and pluck them. So it's subgroup right there. Sounds like Pink Floyd or something. Wish you were here solo. Same concept. Index 4G, middle 5B. Whole step, slide up to 6, 7, and then go right back to 4, 5. So. Take your index, go to 2G, middle, 2B, pluck those two strings, and then the high E open. Then we go to the D, F sharp. And we did this earlier, so if you don't remember it, rewind it a little. And then lift your index off, and do the same thing. Now we'll have the low E. One time through, though. And then leave your third finger, but go index 1G. Pluck the G and B and the low E. So, subgroup right there. And then bar G and B, fret 2. And pluck those. Open A. And then back to the pluck. And then go. Let's see. I'm pretending I'm holding a pick in there. You can thumb all that or whatever, but 2D, hammer to 4D. Do the same thing on the G string. So 2B, pick that, hammer to 3, pull off to 2. Remember we did that in the intro, right? So 3rd finger, 4th fret G, index 2G. Third finger 4D, first finger 2D. It's like a, almost a, like a reverse of what you did, except we're picking them on the way back. Good subgroup, right? And then open A, and it's like starting over again. And then the little fill in spot is this now. Bar 7, D through B. We're going to pluck the D and the B string now. Move it a whole step sharp to 9. Hit them again and hammer on to fret 11, D and 10, B. Simultaneously, they got to come down together. It's tricky. Because once you hammer, you don't want to just hear one. You want to hear both of those. So it's going... So. And then lift those two fingers off. Leave the bar. Pluck. Go back to 7, and then go middle finger, 6D, index 5B. And then we'll continue on the progression from the DF sharp. Lift off the index, leave the other two fingers. One time through there. 1G, and 3B with the low E. So and then the A, which we did earlier. That's G and B, 2nd fret, barred, 
pivoting between those and the open A. One and two and three and four. Those are called eighth notes, ending on the G and the B, not the A. One and two and three and four. And then the next part comes up, F sharp minor. It's so bar fret two, G through high E, and we need fret four on the D. The, there's a set pattern with this, with this part. These two fingers keep together again. We're going to go G and B, and then thumb does the D. Then B and E, pluck both those, and then thumb on the D. So, see, two times there. That same pick pattern, but let's change the chord. 3D, 1G, 2B, 1 high E. So you got a bar with this index. Looks like that if you can see that. And do the same thing. And then we're doing an A major 7 here. 2D, middle finger. 1G, index. 2B, third finger. Same thing. And then this is F sharp 7. Cover everything on fret 2. Three, or third finger 4A, middle finger 3G. You don't even need the four on the A string if you don't want. Go D, G together and the low E with your thumb. And then take your third finger, put it on fret four on the G, leave everything else down, don't lift anything. D and G together, thumb on the E. And then G and B together, don't lift up anything. And then B minor. That's 2E, two, two e, index, 3B, middle, pinky, 4G, third finger, 4D. And do the same pattern we were doing, pluck the G and B together, and then the D, and then the B, E, and back to D. So it's... And then low E open, let that ring, and go to a second fret G, middle, or index finger, third fret B, ring finger. So it's clocks on that. And then it goes back and repeats everything. There's one other part I want to show you quickly here and it goes... section I think in there. Um, do a bass walk up. A, B and C. So open two, three. And then build for your C major chord. Hit the D string next, off that C chord. And then high E open. And then the B string. So then we go 2A, 3B, pluck those together. Open G, high E open, A minor, which is open A, 2D, 2G, 1B. Hit the A and B together, then hit the G, high E open, or actually no. Yeah, so that's all you need there. And then we go to D, F sharp, 2E, 2G, 3B. Hit the E and B string together, pluck those open D, and then G, and then go to a G chord, we'll go, so I'm going E, G, E, B, then I move to the second fret on the low E, keep these here the whole time, the pinky and third finger, pick the same strings, E, G, B, E, lift your first finger off, to open, do the same thing again. And then you'll go D, F sharp, pluck the E, G, and B together. And then go to G, and pluck the same strings, E, G, and B. Okay, and then repeats that. And then, 
But when you hit the G chord, go. Something along those lines. Keep in mind there's three players playing. They're like E, B together off the G chord. Open G, high E, back to G, and do that twice. Something along those lines. And then B7 is the last chord. 2A, middle finger. 1D, index. 2G, third finger. Pinky, fret 2 on the high E. Cool, cool sounding chord. They use it a lot in blues. And go, just start from the A string. And you could just go thumb, 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 index, middle, starting from the A string. Or you can go thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring finger. Doesn't matter. And that wraps it up for that song. Got through it a little quicker than I thought. There's a lot of parts. If you have questions, definitely comment and I will answer those questions for you if you need it broken down slower or whatever it doesn't matter there's no dumb questions so don't feel weird asking just leave it on the comment page of this video and if you're not subscribed that would be awesome if you don't mind click up there hit subscribe and I, my name is Mike Gross youtube.com slash mg free guitar lessons it's probably down here right now or it could be up there by now I don't know I appreciate you guys I enjoy doing this Please uh, bring me some more requests, and I'll get some more songs out to you. Have a good day, you guys. Would you know my name If I saw you in heaven See you guys.